frequent inquiry I receive revolves around the possibility of predicting stock prices using artificial intelligence. It is important to note that while AI can indeed forecast stock prices, these predictions are fundamentally based on historical data. However, it's crucial to understand that stock prices are influenced by a multitude of factors in real time. This includes development in related industries, corporate acquisitions, earnings report, and occasionally even weather conditions and global events. Thus, while AI predictions are valuable, they should be considered with an awareness of the complex and dynamic nature of stock markets. Let me show you how to create a simple application to predict and you can go crazy and do your modifications and changes to make it best for your implementation or your case. Let's start with the data collection. So first step is data collection to collect historical stock price data. We can use the Y Finance library in Python, which provides an easy to use interface to download historical market data from Yahoo Finance. First, you need to install the Y Finance library if you haven't already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my terminal and first install. First, you can always check if you have Python installed by saying, so if you're new to Python, just make sure that you have Python installed. You can look at the documentation in the Python's website. Next, we also need pip installed. So pip3 is what we need. It shows that I've installed. I can always look for version uh, by saying dash v, and it will show me that I have pip3 installed and clear the console. And next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check if, uh, so for first is, as I mentioned, we need to install Y Finance. So I'm gonna say pip3 install Y Finance. Once I do that, it's gonna, say that I already have it installed because I've used this before. If you don't have it, it will probably go ahead and install it. Now next, I need to create a Python file to import this Y Finance. So I'm gonna go open my Sublime Text, create a new project. I'm gonna save this on my documents, projects, and I'll call it test dot py for now and in here i am going to import y finance as yf now if i want to check uh, let's write a function to fetch the fetch and pre-process the stock data so just to check this what we can do is we can say stock underscore data equal to yf dot download this will fetch the data and i want the first uh, first argument is the stock symbol so i'm going to say i want apple next i can say start date from how much data do i want so i'm going to say i want everything from 2010 0101 january 1st and end date to today is president's day so it's a holiday so but even yesterday was a holiday it was weekend but still i'm going to go to 18th today is 19th of february so i'm going to say give me until 18th of february and i can print this stock data just to see how it looks like so i'm going to save it and i'm going to go to my file and run python3 test.py it should fetch all the data for that particular amount and it will give you tables like open high low close adjusted close volume so some of the things that we'll use is open, high, low, close, and volume. These are the fields that we'll use. We have these six columns available, but we're just gonna use some of them just to predict what the price of this stock will be in the next second or next minute. So once I have that, now let's go and create another file. I'm gonna save it as app.py. So I'm gonna start initially with importing that Y Finance. So I'm going to say finance as yf. Next, I'm going to write a function. So let's say, uh, let's call it fetch and pre-process 
talk data. The idea is to make sure that I make an API available so I can call it constantly from anywhere. So I don't have to run this function every time. And I'll call, I'll, put, I'll pass the symbol as the argument. Now here, let's download the historic data. So I'm going to say talk underscore data equal to yf dot download and inside the bracket depending on so i'm going to make it more uh, as as you see i can pass i pass the argument so instead of calling just apple you, you can select whatever you want i'm going to use start equal to 2010 0101 i'm going to give the same dates you can make it more dynamic by giving uh, date as an argument too 2024-02-18. So once I have that, next step is to this data that we get might have some empty or um, missing values and stuff. So let's clean up this. I'm going to call it stock data cleaned stock underscore data dot drop na, which means which are not applicable. So this is a built-in function you can call and then that's what we return back to whoever calls this talk data mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there you go so i'm passing it back this will give us the clean stock data uh, now let's call this function from a method outside so i'm going to go outside of this function and i'm going to say stock data cleaned equal to fetch and so i'm going to oops I think I forgot an underscore here. So fetch and preprocess call this function. And inside this, I am going to pass the symbol, which is Apple. I don't have to pass the dates because that's already there. You can replace this with whatever stock symbol that you desire to call. Next, uh, let's define the features uh, from, the clean, from the clean data and also the target value Y. So the feature X, so let's go ahead and say X equal to talk data cleaned and then inside that I have the fields that I'm interested in open if you remember the fields from here open high low and volume I don't need the close one I'll just low uh, open high low and volume so I'm going to use these four uh, and then that's what I'll pass here. Adjust this feature as needed. However, whatever you are, you need, you can use those. But these are the four that I picked. And now what is my target? My target in there is to get the close. What will be the stock price closing on that particular day, which is today, which anyway, it's, it's a closed market today. So we don't have anything happening, but you can try this tomorrow if you try if you implement this today now next to train and test the data we need uh, something called as the train test split from sk learn model selection so what i'm going to do is on the top i'm going to say from sk learn dot model underscore selection import what do i need to import the train test split module so this is what i need so i'm going to say in the next line here uh, i'm going to go ahead and say that x underscore train my training data x underscore test comma y my target train and my target test data is equal to the function that we just imported and i'll pass it x data my target my i have provided a test size here so usually what we do is uh, if you're familiar with it we provide 80 percent of the data to be uh, for training and 20 percent of data to be tested so i'm going to say 0 0.2 and random state of 42 just a random number so state we assign next we need uh, we need linear regression uh, to provide a model so for this particular example i'm using the linear regression uh, modeling so that also comes 
from sklearn uh, dot linear doesn't show up. No, type it up linear model import from this i want to import linear regression linear hopefully i spell it right regression okay so our linear regression imported so now for the code part of it i am going to say model that i want to use is linear regression pass the function and then i want to fit the data i'm going to say to this model fit my x underscore train and y my target data so that's it so that will create your modeling and take the data and then model and then have a model ready where you can pass uh, pass 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 the or call the function with an current features which is current open high low and volume and it will give you back the uh, predicted close value now before doing that if you want as i mentioned i wanted to make it as an api so what i'm going to do is i am going to use flask if you have not used flask look at it it's a api it's a service which creates uh, it's a library that creates uh, creates apis for you on the run you can make web web services using flask so i'm going to say import flask i need to make a re use request function in there and then also jsonify because what i'm going to do is i am going to pass its json values in my in my request which you'll probably see in a minute but this these are the things that i need once I have this, let's initialize the app. I'm going to say app equal to this is how you initialize a Flask app where you create Flask and you give name underscore underscore is the value which takes the name of the app. So once this is done, next step is to call uh, to define the route for receiving the stock symbol and returning predicted price. So at the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say app dot route this is all provided by flask you don't have to worry about that the api call that i want to call is predict and then the method that it supports is equal to post that's my method and then i'm going to say define predict the function call for the above url i'm going to say data equal to request dot get so from the request that is made we'll use a postman for making the request so we can see it uh, and then i'm saying that i need json so i'm going to force it to be true you can't send anything else only json data and then i'm going to say stock features so this is what it will be passed as uh, json data from there and i'm going to take that data and i'm going to pick from that data features so that means there is a json body inside the request with features in here in there next what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the predicted price predicted underscore price from the model so i have to say model dot predict based on my stock features that we got from the url in the index of zero so you can create an array also but i just want one response equal to so from that i will get the predicted price predicted price which is predicted price so that's what i'll get from there and then that is what i will return back by passing by jsonifying it so the response is json now for the thing that we have declared here if underscore underscore name equal to underscore underscore main just a flask functionality if you are familiar with this you know what i'm doing here i'm going to just say app dot run in debug mode so i'm going to say debug equal to so this is the entire code let's run it and see if it actually works so i'm going to go here and say that uh, python and my name of my app file thing and I have a error over there where it's saying on line number 29 my predict function I forgot the colon let's try one more time this gives me some warnings that's fine and it's saying flash is not defined looks like 
instead of flask i'll have you it flash i mean flask let's try one more time warning and it has got an unexpected keyword argument method uh, on line number let's see uh, this completed expected keyword method where is this method equal to methods equal to post sorry it's an array so i have to pass method let's try one more time and there you go it's saying that do not use this in production environment since this is a development server and it's running my server now which is the flask service it's running and i can actually ask to predict stuff so let's try that so i am going to go open a new postman and since the method is post the url that is usually run by is the local host which is 127.0 and this is the url and then inside my body i'll have to give uh, text in json and the data i can give is let's say features I'm going to give the data based on what the value of uh, Apple stock was since we are looking for Apple just on, on the Friday close. I said this was the closing price. This was the high price, uh, 184.85, and the low value was 181.66, and the volume was around 55 million. So I am going to make sure that I have the right zeros, one, two, three, four. So this is the value that I can see from Google that uh, Apple's value was this much. So let's see if it market was open today, what price would it close? And when I send it, it says the predicted value is 183.17. So if the closing price was 181.66, that means it might fall a little bit. So be careful tomorrow. It might be wrong, but again, it's predicted value. So uh, I hope you learned stuff. I will put this code up on Git and paste the link in the comments. If you have any problems or issues with this, let me know. I will fix it. And if you have any more requests, do let me know and I will record that.